Uh, so we tell them, this ground is blessed. Because we have serious people in government. We have serious people even serving in big companies. And they were here. Um, so he's one of them. Are you happy to see him? Yeah, we have also um, had an opportunity to look around. I'm sure when he was here, the school was not as big as this. And you know, again, expansion uh, comes with challenges of facilities. Uh, we have uh, an issue with the hall. Uh, we did that expansion. Uh, it is not yet complete. We are trying to get resources so that we can uh, complete it. We have uh, a challenge of the dormitories. We have one that is under construction. Uh, once it is complete, it will take 480 students. It's a story building. Uh, but we are depending on uh, the government capitation. Uh, that sometimes uh, will take a long time. Like even up to now, we have not received much from, uh, from the ministry. And that is why that project is stalled. But we want to believe that um, with our government around, uh, we we'll look for some ways, get us friends, uh, so that we can complete that uh, project within uh, the shortest time possible. Uh, we also have a challenge on uh, toilets. Uh, the ones that we have up school is not enough. Um, that's also another challenge. We have another uh, project la laboratory uh, funded by CDF. At some stage, uh, it has been like that for a, for a very long time. I've been here for almost three years and nothing has been done on that building. So we are together as a team with our leaders, I believe that we'll find a solution. We have many things that we have put in place. Uh, this is a very serious uh, group of students. They know where they are going. We have done sufficient mentoring and we'll continue doing uh, that uh, mentorship. We'll continue providing guidance. We will continue to ensure that uh, each one of them goes home smiling. I remember some, some time we had a lot of issues, but we thank God because um, um, at the moment, we are a school to watch. At the moment, at the moment we are a, a school that other schools are emulating. We tell ourselves we need to soar very high, um, and we are, we are doing that. So our target this year, Your Excellency Sir, is 8.9. We have 425 students in Form 4. And we trust that all of them will transit to the university. Um, we have put everything in place. All the strategies, we have put them in place to ensure that uh, none of them misses that opportunity to go to the university. Uh, the current Form 3s are also doing well. Form 2s, we appreciate that uh, along the way our school uh, was expanded. I think because of the good results and so on. We were given 10 streams in Form 1 uh, this year. So we have um, 595 Form 1s. That's a big number. We are not complaining. We still have space in this area. And we, we want to ensure that we transform uh, the community uh, through um, the results that these boys will get. We also don't um, concentrate so much on academics and forget about the other areas. We have um, an agenda of... Um, um, having students leaving this place and they should be able to fit well into society. We have a very strong chaplaincy department. I want to appreciate the church. Um, they gave us a chaplain and we, have, we are really doing well. I think the piece that we have is courtesy of God's intervention uh, through the church. We have had a number of uh, uh, prayer um, days here. We have done a lot of counseling. We have done a lot of uh, invitation to um, uh, older boys who came to talk to us and uh, we, we believe that our school is back on track. I'll not tell you ya kwamba atujafika, sisi tumefika. Sindio fijana? Tumefika. Tumefika. Because moment a student knows why he's in school then it becomes very easy for us as teachers. We have for six teachers on TAC, we have a big number on board of management. That is also a very uh, serious, it, it poses a serious challenge in, in paying of salaries. So through your connection, through your networks, 
We want to pray that um, you help us, sir. If you can get uh, more teachers on TAC, it will help us so that uh, whatever resources that we would spend on salaries, it can help us improve on, on the facilities that we are, are crying for. I, I will not exhaust um, the list of our, our requirements. But I believe Ro Rome was not even built in a day. Uh, let us take steps pole pole as we move along. Uh, within uh, a short while, we will be able to reach where uh, we are supposed to be. Thank you so much. I want to take this opportunity to still say, uh, sir, this day uh, we had committed the whole afternoon for you, but now in Bango and Mungu, Nana Najua. We wanted to sit down and give you time to interact with your Buvalos, your colleague Buvalos. Uh, but now we believe that this short time that you'll have with them will be uh, a plus on our side. Thank you so much and welcome again. Uh, let's put our hands together as we invite, uh, invite the, our home chair. Karibu Daktare. Karibu Daktare. Thank you, Your Excellency, our Governor, and the First Lady, my Margaret, the principal, staff, staff from the county, and good evening. Good evening once again. Are you happy? Why? You have seen someone that you have always longed to see. Bwana Governor, you are welcome. We are very humbled with your coming. I think from the time you came at the gate, you started seeing some challenges. But those challenges, in most cases, we have turned them into opportunities. And because you have come, I believe the school will not be the same. The words of wisdom and the words of the counsel that you are going to give us today, even to the teachers. Requests with you in the office of the principal. We don't want to, to forget that you have already helped us in one way or another. There is a dormitory here that's named after you are, or given your name. I think there's a dormitory by Lusaka. Can we clap for him? And I know the young men who go to that dormitory, they always want to be like the Lusaka that put up that dormitory. I know you have also supported us in terms of paying fees for the needy students. I know it has been a challenge, but today as I stand here, I'm reliably informed that some money was released and that will make our programs run very well and effectively. <laughs> Apart from that, I don't want to forget a very important person. And that is Dr. Margaret Lusaka. Behind any successful man, there must be a suffering who? Wife. <laughs> so, Madam Margaret, I take this simple honor to say thank you for taking care of our president of our country, of our county. Because he's our president in our county. And were it not for your support, I think you will not be looking as healthy as he's looking today. Thank you so much. Um, the chair of the board, I'm one of you in so many ways. I was born in this ward, married in my own ward. The girl you see here, neighbor. So even before he became the, the governor of Bungaree, I already we already knew each other because we come from the same ward. And today I'm privileged to share the same podium with him. So many will have wished that they do the same, but it was not possible. So I want to appreciate this time. I want to appreciate each one of you, ensuring that the day is a success, and we are going to look forward to hearing from him.
I know he's loaded with a lot of information. He's loaded with a lot of wisdom. And today we are going to give him a lot of time to share with us whatever he has. And Bwana Governor, when you go back, remember that you can come in anytime you have time. Anytime we call upon you, please be available for us the way you have been available today. We have lined up so many activities and we hope that you are going to continue supporting us that we make those activities be realized to enable these young men, the future leaders of our country, perform well and be counted when the time comes. As I finish up, I just want to say, if you know you are a member of the board, just step a step forward. It's good for members to know that we have few members of the board and uh, they came to give what we call solidarity, solidarity forever. And I want to thank you members for the support that you have given to this school. I don't want to waste a lot of time. I wish that we give time to our chief guest to share with us what he has. Thank you so much. Can we put our hands together as we welcome our wonderful, wonderful, great governor to come and share with us the words of wisdom. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Rispa, our principal, teachers, members of board, non-teaching staff, members of staff from the county assembly, and our neighbors who had them have also joined us. Good evening. I would have really wished to, these rains have conspired to spoil what I wanted to do, but that is God's work. But I've really wanted to think down. You are not straining so that we have a good interaction, but I'll still come back. So I would have been here earlier, but we also engaged in another very important international event. Today is International Day of Vitsula, so we're celebrating it in Webuye. This especially, uh, it affects women, our mothers, our sisters, and that is where we were. But I'm happy I'm here. Secondly, let me introduce my wife, Dr. Margaret Makelo. Give her a clap. She's on stand here. They're, they're straining to see you. Clap for her. Okay. Dr. Makelo is not a medical doctor. She's a, a doctor of letters, PhD from University of KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Yes. Yes. You cannot marry somebody of that level if you have also not gone to school. <laughs> Second, you have been told I'm an old boy of this school. I was staying in the, the, the Gorofa one. It's called what these days? Lusaka House. That was my dormitory in 1983. Yes. And I was number one in 1983. I led the A-level class to go to the University of Nairobi. So I have come to encourage you and to tell you that it is possible. I just come from a pair here. I'm actually a neighbor. From here, I can go on foot. I used to come here on a tractor. There was no tarmac. And I've done so many things, I just want to tell you, to encourage you, that apart from two positions in this republic, the president and the deputy president, I have been a district officer as a DO, I have been a district commissioner, I have been a secretary provincial administration of the office of the president, I have been a permanent secretary in the Ministry of Livestock Development, I, have, I was your first governor, for those who come from Bungoma, I have been the speaker of the Senate, number three in the Republic of Kenya. And I've come back here to, again as a governor. That is my small, just my small CV, just from Chesam is here. I went to school here. We shared this oxygen you are sharing today. And everything that is here, I just want to tell you, it is possible to make it from here. Possible to be what you are. My wife here, Dr. Makelo, went to Kibuku Girls. Now she is the first PhD holder from Kibuku Girls. 
your, the total number she was telling me, the total number mwalimu principal, you said the form ones are how many? You have how, how many streams? Ten streams, that's the total number of what Kibuku girls was, the entire school. This is just, uh, <laughs> this is form one. So gentlemen, you have an opportunity to be what you are. And many, many other things. Unfortunately, you are coming when the world has become very competitive. You are not to compete just in Chesamizi. I know you come from all other parts, but you're going to compete with other parts of the Republic. My director of communication also went to Kenya. He's also an old boy. So we have quite a number also who have gone through this school. But I want to ask you three questions. Question number one. Can you get lost if you don't know where you are going? Can you? You can't get lost if you don't know where you are going because any destination is a destination. Sinikweli. You can't. So you must have a vision and work towards that vision. Are we together? Question number two. Can you be escorted if you are not going anywhere? You can't. You must be going somewhere for you to be escorted. And when they escort you, that is not your journey. We only escort you, but you must walk that journey. That is your journey. As parents, as teachers, we have just come here to escort you, but you must show willingness to be going somewhere. Those who come from here, we have what we call circumcision. Circumcision people will sing at night and encourage you, but in the morning, they cannot stand with you. They will all go aside and tell you now, that's a song mbele peke yako. You cannot share, you cannot delegate circumcision. You must face the knife yourself. So even you, we can escort you, we shall do everything possible. But come October, whichever month, you must face the exam as a person. Do you need a bridge on a road if you are not going anywhere? You don't. You need a bridge on that road because you are using, you don't need Chesamis High School if you have not come here to acquire as much as you can. So I want to encourage you. And also a, a very serious value as you are here is discipline. You may get A's, but if you are indisciplined, you will not go anywhere. And it, it permeates the entire society because even as a, as a, as a governor, I, must, I have respected those who have been ahead of me. I've been a D1, I've been a DC, I had a PC. When I was a secretary of provincial administration, I had a PS ahead of me. I, my governor, I have my deputy. You must be disciplined in life, right from home. Then you'll get where you want to go. Lakini ukicheza tu sahi, or you get your priorities upside down, you will not go anywhere. You are now in school. This is not time to marry. It's time for everything. Those who are writing to you love letters, by the, the, when you fail, they will all disappear. Or you, get an, uh, you, you fail and write, they will tell you, I don't even remember you. So you must get your priorities right. That time will come. You will have everything. But if you want to enjoy now, you will suffer in the future. We are telling you to wake up today early to go to class. Because you'll have time to sleep. Those who are not waking up early these days wake up early to go to work <laughs> because of the nature of their work. So I just want to encourage you because you know we are standing. Al Mualima will come. I have a lot to share, a lot of experiences to share with these young people and also to bring role models. I have a lot of very many role models who will talk to them, encourage them because I believe that they can make it and they can go to university and come to serve this country. I'm not going to be a governor forever. After five years, I'll move on. And somebody else will come. So we must have proper manage succession management. You are the ones who are going to take over once we are gone. So I have, um, we have discussed. I've looked at the issues that you have raised. Some are long term. But I'll try to see what I can, what, what I can handle. The first one that I'm going to handle, Malim, and I've shared with you. I'm told you have challenges with toilets. So by today is when? By Tuesday next week, I'll give you one million to put up the classrooms, the, the, the toilets, the toilets. So that we can then start there. Roko Pamoja, that one will be brought by Tuesday next week. Number two, when we were there, you know, because I've told you I've worked, I've been around, I've worked, and I've good networks. When we were there, I've spoken to the minister in charge of ICT. And he has promised that we are going to send our requirements so that we put up an ICT lab in this school. <laughs> because ICT is the way to go. 
tuko pamoja i see it is the way to go these days uh, those um, what we used to go manual things are going away analog we are now not there we want you to be ict compliant so we are going to put up an ict lab for you the multi purpose uh, hall and the others i'm also going to use my networks through the minister of education talk to the head of state and see how we can assist you we are going to do our bit to create an enabling environment ukianguka usitulaumu no you don't want excuses that we did not have a toilet you are going to have toilets that we did not have sijui nini we are going to provide ukianguka ubebe msalaba yako wewe mwenyewe ukirudi kwenu but we don't want you to go that direction you have started together we want you to finish together it's not possible but you can finish together kuna wale watakuwa wataenda wakue professors wakue ma governors wakue nini they are just among us you lakini kuna wale waleta mchezo saa hii you will now also prep from what you do you know if you prepare your bed you must be prepared to sleep on it staki kuanda mambo mingi now i know where you are what you are waiting for as i come to greet you you know when the baba also comes the children must eat well Yaani mimi nimeongea mambo ya laboratory you don't club. <laughs> mambo ya toilets you don't club. Sasa hii ingine ndiyo mnapigia makofi. But it's good at least tumbo ndio. Yeah. I'll take care of your tumbo so that you have no excuse. So I think um, there's total silence. Eh? <laughs> the booth style. So for the students at least wa kule mkate nimepiga hesabu I'll give you something that will enable them at least get bread 100000 shillings for at least for Aya You know when you don't want mfanyikazi kukula chakula ya watoto you must also give them mfanyikazi yao so that they don't interfere with ile ya, ya watoto so for the teachers i'll give you 20000 but there are also those others who take care so that pia wasilalamike the non teaching staff will also give you 10000 at least pia wa Hapo iko sawa? Yeah. Mtafanya bidii? Yeah. You will work hard. Yeah. Na mjue mimi I'm just your neighbor here. Matokeo ikitoka I'll just come on foot to check. I don't need a vehicle I'll just come to check but I wish you well. I want you to to do well so that you come to serve this country. I will come back I have a lot to share. It's just that we were you know you are standing we are also standing people are tired but we want to come when we have ample time so that you also ask me questions. Sini kweli? I also want you to come I went to Alliance Girls and they asked me very nice questions. Luckily the ho- almost 99% of the form 4s went to university. So I want to come espe- I'll start with the form 4s. I'll come so that we have a conversation with the form 4s to ask questions. I'll tell you quite a number of things that can also help when in your exams. So Malim with those many remarks I just want to say thank you. We've noted uh, the things that you have requested us. Mambo mambo ya scholarship we are on it. We are going to make sure that at least uh, no student misses to go to okay i can see there's something here ah yeah we are me jitete are you the one who has drawn the three of them i'll give you 5000 so <laughs> <laughs> you must think out of the box you must be creative when you are creative unakulia hapo tu sasa hawa watakuwa sawa so saying the will try to make sure that no student falls out of school because of non payment do we do that so I th- thank you thank you so much can we can we give a serious clap a serious one a more serious one karibu head boy for a fourth of thanks happy head boy our governor uh the guests our principal uh and my fellow buffalos good evening good evening once more 
Okay, I'm privileged this evening to stand in front of you to give the vote of thanks. Number one, I'd like to thank uh, the Almighty God for the fires brought us. Secondly, I'd like to thank our governor for joining us. 